I'm here today at Grace Court, Henley on Thames, and I'm exploring the kitchen garden, which is really coming into its full glory now. We're going to pick some items and we're going to take these through to the kitchen in the house to do some beautiful recipes with. We're going to make a really simple salmon salad. Try to use the best of, of what's in the gardens at the moment. So all the things that we've found we're using, and there's a few extra bits we've put in there as well. I want to poach this salmon, but I am going to cut it into fillets to poach. So left the skin on, it's been descaled. Uh, sometimes in the salmon you see there's a little white bit that runs down there. So if you just take the knife and just cut through that and just take that out, it can be a little bit tough. And I'm going to just cut this into nice small steaks. In fact, that one, I'm just leave like that. Okay, so I'm going to poach the salmon. I've got just a little saute pan on there and there's, there's about a centimetre of water in the bottom. It's just bubbling. So all I'm going to do, really, really easily to poach this off, just drop the salmon in and then we're just going to move it onto a lower heat and just put a, a lid on it or a cover of some description, whatever you've got. That's going to probably take three or four minutes and that's that. Okay, so the vegetable accompaniment, take the courgette, top and tail, split into two and then just cut it into batons, uh, slices, just cut at an angle. And now move on to the pepper, we want to take the white out and then the same thing, we're just going to slice this. The parsley, just roughly chopped, stalks as well. And then thyme, just hold it the wrong way and just run your fingers down like that and you'll pull off all the little leaves. And then we're going to take those and just saute them. Okay, so the salmon's had five minutes, six minutes. So you can see now just by pressing it, it resists. That's just how I want it. So now we take that off the heat, take it out of the water and just put it onto a plate and just let it cool off. So I'll just get the saute pan on here and we're gonna now saute off the peppers and the courgette. So we want plenty of oil in there to start with. Get that nice and hot. And as soon as that's sizzling, I'm gonna get the courgettes and the peppers straight in. What I want with these is, I just want a little bit of color on the courgette. I don't want to overcook them because they kind of go slimy. As you can see now, we're starting to get a bit of color onto the courgette and the peppers. So the next ingredient was the herbs. That's now gonna go in with the courgettes and the peppers. And it looks like quite a lot, and it is. We want that flavour in there. Lots of crunch, lots of sweetness, some little bits of bitterness, sort of an irony richness that's coming from the parsley, and the fragrance and floral notes of the thyme. So I'm just going to take this and get this ready to cool down. So the mange too, not going to do anything with them, just as they are. Green beans, and I am just going to top and tail these, just trim them. The next ingredient is broccoli. I don't want to waste this stalk because there's lots of flavour in that. We've got a little potato peeler and just run that very gently over the outside. And all that does is just removes any of the really tough, tough bits on the outside. So I'm cutting it into pieces round about the same size as the peas and the beans. So that's the peas, the beans and the broccoli ready. They're going to be blanched. So they're going to go straight into a pan of boiling water round about two to three minutes. As soon as they're done, we're going to get them out and we're going to get them in some cold water to, to stop them from cooking. So next, carrots. I'm just going to peel them. And then we'll do exactly the same as we did with the courgette. Some nice and thin pieces like that. And then finally, some potatoes. So I've got some new potatoes. They're going to be boiled whole, about 15 minutes. And then just two or three minutes before they're done, we're going to throw the carrots in the same pan and that'll just soften them down a little bit. We want to then cool down the carrots and the potatoes, so just a little bowl of cold water or sink with cold water in and just drop them straight into there. So the potatoes, which have cooked and cooled down, we're now going to quarter those. And again, it's about keeping all of the ingredients the same kind of size. All right, so we get all the potatoes in with the courgettes and the peppers. So we've got the green veg, which we've cooled off. So that's just literally going to get tipped straight into there as well and then the carrots. So I've got some chickpeas which I've drained, so what about a tin there. Got a little bit of seasoning, so I've got a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. We just need to add some lettuce into this. You can put any lettuce in to be honest, I mean we've got a really good selection of, of lettuces. We're just going to really finely shred that, give that a really good mix around and that's it. That's now ready for plating up. I've removed the skin and then just literally break the flakes apart nice and gently. We've just got a really really basic vinaigrette three parts oil, one part vinegar, a little bit of salt and pepper in there, and a little tiny bit of lemon juice. And then we're just going to garnish it up with a little bit of nasturtium and then some chive flowers. Okay, so that's it. So that's a poached salmon and summer vegetable salad.
with a beautiful vinaigrette dressing.